The word empowerment is more than a notion these days when it comes to women in business. And at a recent event in Southfield, it proved to be a mantra for success, a positive affirmation that women can accomplish anything they set their minds to. The Shriner Silver Garden Event Center was the location of the sixth annual I'm Every Woman Expo. The event was presented as part of the Women's History Month National Initiative. Coordinated by Eloquence Enterprise CEO Latanya Barber, the program looked to support, educate, and inspire women to embrace entrepreneurship. Um, we're excited. We've been celebrating Women's History Month for the past six years here in Michigan, and the event has taken off. It's really become a movement for women, an empowerment event where we can come and network and share. We witnessed laughter today, tears shed today, quality networking, um, a really positive environment for women and their daughters and teens. Um, and we've been doing this for the past six years, and it's grown tremendously to the point where we're now networking across the globe. We've traveled with the event to Chicago, Columbus, and also Los Angeles. So it's really become an amazing event that we look forward to every year in March. Guests enjoyed giveaways, interactive workshops, appetizers, fashion previews, performances and exhibitions by various outstanding community businesswomen. The audience should expect to hear from my performance today, Empowering of Women. I have a piece that I prepared entitled Gabby, which tells a story about three strong women's struggles in honing their craft and following their passion. I'm here today because I want to spread the importance of women in health and how important it is to stay fit and maintain a healthy lifestyle. We did sit-ups, side crunches, we, we did planks, we did squats, lunges, um, kickbacks, side kicks. So we pretty much did everything. We tried to do a quick head to toe workout. Well, the I'm Every Woman Expo is a great opportunity for people in the community of all walks of life to come and listen to inspirational stories as well as learn about products, services, and other types of initiatives that are out there to empower one another. That way they can go out into the community, use what they've learned to help someone else. It kind of gives a pay it forward sort of attitude about uh, the things that are going on and it also helps people to realize that they have potential to make a difference and do things that are great. While the event inspired attendees, it equally inspired participating vendors who were motivated to share their stories on why they started their business and why they felt so compelled to be part of the I'm Every Woman Expo. So during my speech today, I will talk about how to make your life amazing. And it's been a journey that I've gone through in my own life. And so the tips and secrets that I share are something that I've experienced and I actually use every single day in my life. And it truly has made my life amazing. If it was not for that journey, I would not be standing here today. So I'm just excited to share that information with the women here. Well, my personal reason for uh, participating in today's event because again, anything and all things women and empowering them, when we look around at what's happening in the world today, it definitely needs to change. I believe women will change what's happening and make the world a better place. I have an 11 year old daughter and I need it to be better for her when she gets my age. The event also recognized the outstanding contributions of Jean Rytuck, Executive Director of the Association for Youth Empowerment by way of a Community Service Award, and Kaylin Risker, whose organization, Sisters Acquiring Financial Empowerment, also known as SAFE, received a portion of the event proceeds. I founded a nonprofit, and that's the reason for the award. The nonprofit is called Association for Youth Empowerment, and we started it up in 2006. Its purpose is to empower young people and to impact the communities around young people. And so we've been designing programs, finding good programs for young people, and going on the journey of seeing what works. You know, empowerment is really something like a discovery. How do you empower somebody else? Because true empowerment comes from within. So young people today have a lot to deal with, and our, our mission is to empower them to deal with what's going on around them and get them through their teenage and early 20s years. Um, in the past, we've honored a lot of predominant women, um, prominent women like for example, Mayor Brenda Lawrence in Southfield, Michigan. Um, also the United States Senator Debbie Stabenow, to name a few. 
Um, this year we wanted to pay a tribute to a woman that's serving in the community that maybe is not so recognized by, by everyone, but just kind of find a way to reach into the community to see who's doing some amazing things. So we kind of posed a contest on our Facebook page and um, said that if you nominate someone in the community that's serving, you'll win some complimentary passes. And a young lady took advantage of that opportunity and we read what the lady did and her name was Jean Rytok and she's doing some amazing things in the community. And we were so impressed that we couldn't, we couldn't help but to call her and tell her, hey, you know, you're a nominee. And she showed up today and she's honored, she's thrilled. And, um, and it's our way of just saying, you know, keep on going, we're behind you 100%, and I believe that people are inspired by that. It was really important that we participated in this event because we're doing a lot of outreach with teens. We're also working with some senior citizens. This event, the theme of this year's I'm Every Woman Expo was generations, and looking at generations of women and helping to strengthen them. And so it's important to us that we help in our way to also strengthen our community and the generations of women that survive and live and thrive in it. Well, Empowered Flower Girl received a wonderful grant from Detroit Soup, and we're hosting Chica Chat workshops in Detroit schools, and we're also hosting a community one in a partnership with Detroit Parent Network. So what we're doing is we're offering these workshops to schools, community organizations, so we can start making a difference and seeing bullying go away. You know, I want it to be that someday we don't hear about these bullying statistics, so that there's never another bull aside. So. We want to make sure that youth, especially girls, have an opportunity to be fully self-expressed and participate in these workshops. And they can go online to empoweredflowergirl.com to learn more about our programs, as well as you know, email our Kamaria at empoweredflowergirl.com if they want to sign their child up for a community workshop. I started my business, The Amazing Woman Network, and became an empowerment coach literally because of the journey that I had been through. I had been you know, married, divorced, entrepreneur for 15 years, things just weren't happening the way that they were supposed to happen at that point in time. I just found myself in this pity party and spiral of depression and from that, literally, I just turned it all over. God, it gotta be something different. Show me what that is. And when he did, he showed me the Amazing Woman Network. He showed me what I was supposed to do, that I was supposed to go through all that I went through in order to empower the life of another woman. So. I don't have a choice in this. This is my destiny. So I'm stepping into my destiny and hoping to make my life and the lives of other people around me amazing. To learn more about the I'm Every Woman Expo, along with various other associated events and activities, visit I'mEveryWomanExpo.com.